with 2024 just around the corner, are we finally going to see a large move to the downside on Bitcoin? The retracement that many are wanting to see, will they actually get that finally as a start of the year 2024 gift? Or, you know, will this strong uptrend continue? People that are waiting for lower, people that are taking shorts, just continuously getting wrecked as this market moves towards that, you know, all the way it's ETF decision. Uh, but, you know, undeniably, the charts are telling us everything that we need to know. And that is it has been very bullish for the past few months. Right. And, you know, people that are longing buying the dip, remaining bullish are the ones walking away with profits. And in this video, I want to really tell you a few major things that are going to be affecting the charts. I want to, first of all, I want to explain my personal bias. I want to go over the targets and next trades I am looking for as we go into 2024. Uh, and I want to do that as always, right? Since the start of this year, it has been my mission to really be very transparent, very honest, and explaining my predictions in a easy to understand way. And really, since we got that breakout, from 27,500, moving on to the reclaim of $30,000. <laughs> By the way, I bit my tongue, so I apologize if I got a bit of a lift, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through that pain to give you this video, right? And, uh, you know, for me, it has been, um, you know, really I made a conscious effort to make everything that I'm doing very clear. And so when you look back in October, right, for me, remaining long and chill on Bitcoin, no short trades, bias is the same, looking for higher to come, keeping it simple and long to November. Still, while others are fearful and panic selling, I'm going to follow my plan and continue to buy the dip. Moving into December, where I continue looking for higher, rem plan is remaining the same, remaining in longs, no short trades, bullish buyers, predicting higher price targets will be hit. So, you know, really, I've been very transparent and clear with you all extremely bullish, uh, you know, really looking to buy any dip that we're given and, you know, keep on expecting higher price targets, not taking those aggressive short trades and really trading the trend for what it is. Uh, so I just ask one simple thing of you in this video, right? And that is, please uh, listen closely because I know, I know from the comments, from the love that I'm getting right now, I am helping people make really good profits. I actually saw lovely comments uh, from people saying that they're able to actually buy some really good Christmas presents from the profits that we're making uh, from following these videos. So it's really lovely to see. Uh, so I know that I can help you. I really know that I can do that. So yeah, just listen closely, pay attention, and um, yeah, let's get on with the show where today I want to be telling you my bias, of course, uh, the next targets that I have to the upside, where we can be looking to buy the dip if we do get this heavy retracement, and really laying out a plan so you are prepared, ready uh, to make profits once again in this market. So I think that's uh, <laughs> it's going to be a good video, and uh, yeah, let's just get into what you're here for, and that is some technical analysis and outlook going into 2024 so you're prepared. Um, I'd like to, first of all, start off with a little educational segment, and that is where I can share some like knowledge and insights with you on the charts that we can use, of course, going forwards. And I really want to focus on the drop to the downside, first of all, quickly, that we saw back here on the you know 10th, 11th of December. And when you see such a downwards move on the chart, so even if we copy and paste that price action and, and we look at the start of 2024. When we see heavy, quick moves to the downside, we have to make informed decisions. And we have to, you know, of course, we all have emotions. You know, that, that's not possible to remove those emotions, but we can control them, okay, and be focused and in the zone when it comes to taking our trades. So for me, you had, you know, three real major decisions to make when you see a drop and the same could be happening into the future right and that is you can either buy the dip you can worry about not being in a short trade as price drops and end up you know really missing all trades from that you know emotions that are flying through your brain or you can short the bottom in fear okay so when you're seeing this move to the downside buy the dip miss trades or short in fear and those are the three options that you had back on the you know, uh, this, you know, this large drop to the downside, really. And for me, what I want to actually explain is the decision that I made the reasons why so you can learn from that. So for me, uh, it was, it was, uh, I went for option one, as I hope is obvious if you've been following along. Um, with any of my content for the past few months, you have been, I've been very bullish. But why have I been so bullish? And the answer is I have a solid plan. 
Okay, so when we're seeing such drops to the downside, be it on the 10th of December, be it on the 14th of December when we had a retest, you know, all of these opportunities for me have just been simply buy the dip opportunities. Everything that I'm doing is trying to buy the dip. So I'm going for the option one to buy the dip. Why? Because I have a plan, I have clear higher targets, which we're tapping into, by the way. So that's why this, inter this video is going to be very interesting. I had very high confidence on higher price targets to be here. And let me just explain this. How can I have such high confidence in my trades? Um, and the, 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 the main number one factor is is statistics. It, it simply is that. You have to remember, I, I have been doing this for over a decade. It's a long time, especially when you're here every single day, uh, you know, logging in, looking at the charts, taking trades, uh, and then I'm journaling my trades. And with that journaling, with that experience, you know, I'm running statistics. So I knew that was an extremely high probability that with that confluence zone that we had around $44,000, there wasn't just this daily. We had weekly levels. We had weekly naked point of controls. We had monthly point of controls. And way we obviously had those little row of single prints. You just had so much confluence. And I know with my statistics, when we have so much confluence, it acts as like a magnet. Price is really drawn towards it. So my plan was clear. The more that we drop, the more aggressive I'm just going to be buying and buying and buying. Why? Because I have very high probabilities based off of a statistical edge almost in the market that I then have that we are going to be going higher. So when I'm seeing those dips, I'm not fearful. I'm not worried. I'm not missing trades. No, I'm buying the dip. Why? Because I have a plan and I really have high probabilities that we will be going up to higher price targets. Of course, now we can see that did play out. That did play out. Right, I was correct on that decision. And, uh, you know, <laughs> anybody that followed along is also, you know, happy with that, right? So what are then we looking at next? And I want to just explain when we get the retests. Again, I just want to spend a few minutes on this because this is, again, a factor that is going to come into play into the future. So you see a heavy move to the downside, right? You get a retest, support to resistance, and you start to get then, well, what many are looking at is continuation then of a downtrend. You know, you really start to get a lot of people feeling very bearish. I really believe we've put in a major pivot. They are fully expecting further downside continuation. And of course, I primarily give all my updates always first and primarily I'm just on the Discord, right? I'm telling people I'm bullish, long and chill, you know, don't be scared out or faked out by these drops. And, you know, Christmas holiday time, you know, I've really been trying to give a lot as well on the socials. And, uh, you know, that's why I made this post for you on the 18th of December, just to remind you all, you know, I am long and bullish and I'm not here to say I'm perfect and I'm 100 percent going to be right. But I do understand the confidence booster that I can give to a lot of people by just reminding them that I am bullish so they don't get fearful and shorting. So I tell you, all, you know, I'm long and bullish, expecting higher price targets to be hit. You know, I've shared my plan very clearly. Uh, you know, are you with me <laughs> and you're going to be longing or do you think I'll be wrong? Thankfully, we had a lot of people uh, with me and, uh, you know, longing the dip too. And that's why is that, you know, I have a very good win rate. I have the experience. And those that follow my trades, bias and predictions are normally walking away with amazing profits with me. And that time I did expect it to be the same. I remained long, bullish on Bitcoin. A little bit of a joke. Those that counter trade with shorts will feel the liquidations uh, on their short trades via the CC pool long. Why? because we are very confident with our plan. I've been sharing this with everyone. We're longing, we're buying the dips and anyone that's short is going to get that liquidation price hit, right? <laughs> and here we are finally, a few days later, hitting $44,000. I mentioned this is a major target for me. So of course, what you're going to be wanting to know now is, am I looking to aggressively short this? Do I believe this is the high? Uh, are we looking for a major retracement or actually are we looking for continuation? Of course, I'm going to explain all of that to you uh, in this video. I actually want to take now, though, a few minutes. If you're here just purely for TA, you can, of course, more than welcome to skip through this part, give it five minutes. But I feel uh, you can actually learn something from this as well. I want to talk about uh, business as well as some personal um, you know, things that I've been going through and things that I have had to, you know, really conquer, I would say, um, in my own personal life and how I can bring that to the charts. Of course, when we look at the charts, we all know there are ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. Of course, some charts more ups than others. But nevertheless, I always 
And this is really something that I've learned this year that, um, you know, I'm really viewing life as a chart and we have very positive moves and then we have very, you know, negative and we can go into very dark, you know, sad times too, right? Just like the chart moving up and down. And for me, you know, what I want to personally talk about is um, understanding mistakes that I was making and not living how I should have and how that affected chart champions, how that affected my trading, how that affected my personal life. And not to make this video just talking about me, but how I can then use that information to, you know, maybe give some advice or tips from things that I have learned. Because I feel that this year I have learned so much. Uh, really, I have. I feel I have improved as a person as well. Um, so that's that's also nice. Um, but yeah, really, I can look back on 2021, 2022, and not just myself looking back, but hearing from, you know, members such as yourselves, but also close personal friends. Um, you know, looking back now, I can realize that some, I was making some very big mistakes. Of course, I never done anything illegal or anything like crazy like that, but I was, you know, really partying too much. I was going out too much. I was traveling a lot. And you could say that that's not a mistake per se, but I personally view it as a mistake. So I wasn't you know, I wasn't remaining truthful to myself. I was maybe at the time without even realizing it actually be, being very lonely, being being sad. Right. And, uh, you know, that all led me to, you know, just just going a bit kind of crazy and not not what I want to be viewed or looked at. Right. So I really can hold myself up for the years at that 2021, 20, 22 period. I, I recognize my downfalls. And I recognize and I hold myself totally accountable when it's it was all down to me. Right. I made the decisions to go out uh, partying. I made the decisions, uh, although at the same time, I always, you know, fulfilled my streams. I still logged into the charts. I was still trading every day, but I was doing it with not my full. I would say my full focus or my full priority at the time. And with that, you know, chart champions did suffer. And that's why I want to just say that, you know, in 2021, 2022, like chart champions was, it it was especially general chat, right? Was filled with a lot of trolls. And also, you know, I don't want to go too much on this, but you know, the, the staff, let's just say this, the staff this year has changed completely. So from the ground up, from the back end staff that you don't really see too much, or you never see, <laughs> uh, you know, customer service, etc. up to the coaches, you know, we changed around a ship. And that was for a big variety of reasons. But all we know now is that they were all very positive. Uh, so this year we have, you know, totally changed that ship around. And so what was, you know, 2021, 2022, very rough seas, rough around the edges, a lot of chaos, uh, not the most professional environment to be in, to really Coming back to our core, reminding ourselves, why are we here? What are we doing this for? It is to make people successful traders. So we've all come together. We've aligned our goals and you can see it for yourselves, right? 2023 has been the year where we have made the most amount of profitable and consistent traders. And that is no coincidence. That is why. But we now have a team of coaches who are coming in and are actually making money trading. So there's no hidden games. It's a simple case of, you know, these people are excellent at what they do. They are very, very profitable uh, in their skills of being a trader and they are having the same one and that is to share information, okay, to share their trades, to share their journey of what they've gone through. So for me, it's now like turned into a very professional and positive environment. And that's why I posted this over on, on Twitter, really. That and how I want to link this to the lessons that I've learned is that you have to listen to uh, feedback that you receive. You have to really look at your life and journal your life right and and acknowledge mistakes that you're making. And only through accepting that they are mistakes at the time can you actually move forwards and change to make positive changes uh, on your life, on your business, on your relationships. And so for me, you know, at the time, I really look back and think, you know, I was going out partying a lot, uh, really for the goal of I wanted to, I wanted to find a girlfriend. It was, you know, pretty simple. And for me, that massive positive factor is that, you know, I did actually end up coming out with a with a girl I truly love. And uh, for me, that helped absolutely massively. Uh, you know, she really helped me settle down, focus, remind me 
what's important in life. And that is, you know, everybody watching this, uh, you know, I have been blessed with the skill of trading. And I'm not saying I'm the best in the world. I'm not saying I'm the best teacher or anything like that. But I, I, I am uh, successful, let's say, at what I do. And so with that blessing, with that skill, it is almost my duty to give back and share that information. And to do that, I cannot be traveling around. I cannot be partying. I cannot be wanting to see loads of different girls. No, I just need to be focused here on the charts with my routine and, and be with you all. And so, yeah, shout out to my girlfriend. <laughs> she helped me a lot uh, achieve that. And, um, you know, Really simply, I just want to take full responsibility, own up for those bad years. And I would say that, that if you were a member during 2021, 2022, you know, come and check us out now. Uh, just g give it a shot, give it a trial, right? And you'll see for yourself how much we have changed, how much we have improved, how professional it is, how much more focused the content is. You know, we no longer have these crazy long videos. It's all split up into generally around 15 minute videos focused and we have learned a lot for of course through the time of doing content but also through a simple process of you know making mistakes and improving upon them so yeah i just wanted to just say that very brief wow that was probably a bit little bit too long of a segment of a ta video but nevertheless i just wanted to say that uh, for myself as well holding myself accountable you know really accepting the mistakes that i made um you know, apologizing as well to the to the people of 2021, 2022 that were around. You know, I apologize that I wasn't uh, the most active. Of course, the other coaches were, and, and I have to shout out them. But um, yeah, I just wanted to really give that give that opinion to you all, and uh, you know, say I'm sorry for that. And you know, now of course I am back with a new mindset, uh, with focused goals and you know what we want with chart champions and i hope that just kind of speaks for itself the work that we're doing now we don't have to shield we don't have to talk about it. you know it just really talks shows for itself sort of thing so anyway I'm, I'm not great with words so let's move on to the charts right and that is uh what i'm looking for uh next as we go into 2024 so i want to say this um i am still remaining bullish <laughs> that's probably a big sigh of relief for a lot i am remaining bullish okay i still believe that we're gonna come up to higher price targets so you have to be very understanding now of where those higher price targets are because even though i can say hey i'm long in chill i'm bullish um, that doesn't mean I'm expecting us to go to a million dollars on Bitcoin, right? So I'm a level to level trader. And really simply, we actually have a next level where I could potentially take a short just above us. And that is a simply new yearly high. So this is our new yearly high, brand new high of the year. Why do I look at this pivot? Because it grants a trade that I would consider fairly simple. It grants this opportunity of a swing failure pattern. Uh, swing failure pattern SFP, uh, where we simply come up, we take that high and we close back down below. And I class that as a pretty simple trade, very easy to understand, you know, nice entry triggers in validation. So I'd look for the SFP uh, or a failed auction and failed auctions where we could come up and tap this around 45, 500 before losing that high, right? So we got um, the next zone above us with that kind of failed auction swing failure pattern potential. Do I feel it is a massive level of resistance? No, I do not. But do I feel that we could get an executable short trade? The answer to that is yes. So, yeah, that for me is would be more of a pullback location where we could still look to buy the dip because we have those major targets around 47,000, right? This is our previous range point of control, which has been a major target ever since we reclaimed 30K um, at 47,000. Um, and really that moves up to around 50,000, right? So it's a nice big zone, but this is crazy, crazy big resistance. Not saying it's impossible to get through, but you know I'm going to be very cautious as we come up to that. So first of all, Feel we got the new yearly high failed auction to contend with. If we get through that, then yeah, absolutely 47, 50k. You know, just big, 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 big levels. Um, where absolutely I'm going to be looking to hedge myself, take a lot of caution, and you know, at least want to see the strength through those levels rather than predicting strength that we haven't seen. You know, we haven't even tapped those levels, right? So, uh, you know, that's what I wanted to say on that. And in terms of like buying the dip then, so if we are to see a, a larger dip to the downside, um, 
as I said in my last video, if we come up and we hit my target here and then dip, that is a different context than if we had dipped and actually it remained untapped with this around 44K. So this context has changed, right? So I would add that layer of precaution almost. We're just wanting to see a stronger reaction. I would say that I just want to see something stronger in the order flow. As you can see, this SFP, so on a lower term time frame, we actually made an SFP here acceptable short trade for day traders uh you had a lot of trap longs into that high as well but what i'm saying is when we come down and we get a dip what i'm going to be looking at is the order flow here right is what am i seeing in the charts to really say there's strength there's weakness it's not just looking at the candlesticks it's looking at the evidence to see how many people are longing to see how many trap traders we have OK, to look at the delta to look at the cvd this is all giving us informed decisions based off of real time live data, okay, evidence on the charts that show us if there's strength, if there's weaknesses. If you see a swing failure pattern and then you look at the order flow and you see this type of trap traders, of course, the next highest probability is, is a local pullback. And well, you can see you got a local pullback now testing previous day very, very low. So I would be looking at that type of order flow, but when we hit major, major levels. So for example, a new yearly high. OK, this is a major level for scalp, very low term time frame traders. Right. But I'd be looking at that, for example, when we come up to 47K, if we get a dip down to thirty six thousand dollars. These are levels for me which are major. You have to be looking at the order flow as you hit those levels, because that is where you're going to either see hitting a major level. And let's say uh, the resistance above hit that resistance and break through it like butter. Is that backed up with strong volume? Is it backed up with strong delta? Or actually, are we seeing decreases in delta, weak volume? OK, and, you know, it's just a load of people covering their trades. So th this is only something that we can see live in the time. And of course, once we hit those levels, once we come up into those important levels, if you want the update first from myself, that's where you'll always get in the champions group. This is always going to be the first place you get that information. If you're waiting on Twitter, if you're waiting on YouTube, it's, it's going to be delayed. You're never going to get that first. So as we're hitting those levels and I'm telling my team no short trades for me yet, Okay, as we're hitting just below 44k, you know, I'm telling my team no short trades yet. I'm telling my team there is no weakness here. Uh, I've not shorted yet. So if you want to know when I'm taking a short, you know, <laughs> that's what. But that's the first place you'll get that information is the champions group. It's as simple as that. So if you want to take advantage of that, then of course that's where you get the daily live stream updates. Every day a live stream update. This has been a game changer too. Of course, in the Discord, all the all the champions have access to our trading channel. Have access to the questions channel where you get every single question you ask about our chart answered. You can know this is. Yeah, you could say very, very helpful to people. Uh, we come in there and we answer every single question that I get. You know, you can just see I answer everything. On top of that, you got the daily live streams. Of course, you got the contender sessions. These are our brand new contender sessions uh, where we're teaching brand new theories. Uh, then, you, of course, you've got the live trading. So you can see those theories. You can see the coaches putting that into practice and live trading in front of you. You know, we've got now the dedicated altcoin streams. So if you're itching to trade alts, this is the place to be. You know, the, these are very profitable altcoin streams. We've got the AMAs, we've got the trade recaps. You know, we've got everything that you need basically in a one stop shop, the inbuilt journals, you know, the vaults, the, the cheat sheets, the templates, everything that you need in one place. And that is why, you know, this is whether, whether you had uh, the experiences back in 2021, 2022. I would say come and check us out now because it's a different place. It's extremely professional. It's very focused and you, you will not regret. You will not regret. And on top of that, of course, we're making very good calls. <laughs> we're making a lot of profits right now. And, uh, you know, I look and see, uh, you know, a lot of people salty and, uh, you know, people from a few years ago that went off to create their own group still talking about us years later. So, I, you know, I guess I will uh, not comment on that, but um you know, well, I kind of I, I kind of commented it over on Twitter, but I won't go too much into that. But when I see, you know, adult men writing like this about chart champions, it, I just just have to almost feel genuinely sorry and sad for them. But, you know, maybe they're going through hardships like I went through a few years ago. So I, I shouldn't judge. Uh, and I would just maybe reach out to these people that are struggling and just say, hey, there's there's no need to be sad. There's no need to be upset, jealous or whatever reasons you have to still be so focused just try and find 
Uh, just try and find happiness in yourself. And uh, once you're focused on yourself, once you're focused on your own goals, you know, that's when you can start to become successful. That's all I'd say. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> no comment on extra on that. I'll, I will end by just ending this on a positive note, right? 2020. Uh, three for me honestly has been a difficult year it's not been plain sailing it's not been easy it has been full of challenges it's been full of upsets you know I had uh, you know I've been through depression I've been through anxiety I've been through a lot of difficult challenges this year it's been a very very hard year but as we are getting closer to the end of the year um, you know really over the past like two months I've been found like a new positivity and I found you know some great help and support and I've got back finally what I needed to just get back in a routine get into a new house and you know just be in a space where I can feel safe I can feel secure and just be happy again with what I'm doing and that is chart champions that is trading and 2024 for me is going to be very positive uh we got already our goals set out we know what we want to achieve and we know what we need to do to hit those goals and achievements so uh yeah i feel it's going to be a very good positive year and uh yeah if you want to surround yourself with that positivity the people that are doing the best in the market right now you know where to be it's as simple as that chartchampions.com it'll be more than a, a joy maybe it's an old face uh, returning to see how we've improved or if it's a new face watching this uh, and you're excited for the 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 big crypto moves well, actually we also now cover the stock market right we cover futures markets we we're not just crypto anymore but <laughs> nevertheless um, if you're looking to crush the markets you know where to be with us at CC so yeah I'll just wrap it up there hope you've enjoyed you understand my bias remaining bullish I am still looking for higher I will be cautious once we hit a new yearly high, because for me, that's just a simple trade right here. Uh, but yeah, I've um, explained my bias. I've explained my trades. I've explained what I would look along the dip, which is a heavier retracement, of course. Uh, but nevertheless, that's why I feel there's the biggest support. So <laughs> it's as simple as that, really. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, I would like to see higher. I would like to see new yearly highs. And for me, the charts remain bullish. If we do get that bigger dip for me, yeah, it would still be a long opportunity, but I would play it with a bit of caution because we have hit that 44K level first. So I hope that all makes sense. If it doesn't, well, you can you can learn every single strategy that we're taking when I'm longing the dips, when I'm shorting these moves, you know, when we're laying out our plans. This is all via technical analysis and every single bit of technical analysis that you see on live streams, on live trading here on YouTube, uh, when it's all like pre-done, everything that we use is taught in the course, right? So you can learn everything to basically become a self-sufficient trader yourself. And with that said, it's been a long video, but it was one to wrap up the year. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope I didn't speak too long. Uh, probably did. But um, yeah, I just want to say that. I hope you have a brilliant 2024. I, I do love and appreciate you all. And uh, yeah, I'm, I am positive and looking forward to, to the start of next year. So let's crush it together. Let's have a good one. And uh, yeah, I truly wish you, your family and everybody a happy holidays. And uh, yeah, enjoy it. Share love, positivity. And let's go. CC Paul, I love you. Cheers. Thank you and goodbye.